In this video, I'll discuss block and key sizes. With block ciphers, they are designed to work with blocks of data to either be encrypted or decrypted. This data needs to be split into sections that match the block size of the algorithm. Now, the block size is usually a fixed value like 16, 32, 64, or more bits. But because the algorithm would require a block of data to work on, if the input data is less than the block size, then that input data needs to be padded. The key size of an algorithm is also called the key length. It's the number of bits that are required for the key used within that cryptographic algorithm. And it relates to the strength of the algorithm, so generally speaking, a larger key size means greater strength. Block algorithms can support multiple key sizes, but usually they have a single block size. Let's take a look at some examples, starting with symmetric algorithms. AES supports 128, 192, and 256-bit key sizes, whereas DES supports 56-bit keys. Triple DES supports a 168-bit key size, but in practice it's really equivalent to 112 bits. For asymmetric algorithms, the key sizes will vary. For example, we might have a 1024-bit key up to a 4096-bit key. A 1024-bit key is about the equivalence of an 80-bit symmetric key. If we compare algorithm block and key sizes, we get an idea of their strength. For example, with the AES algorithm, the block size is 128 bits. The key sizes are 128, 192, and 256. But if we were to look, for example, at DES, its block size is 64, and it has a number of key sizes, including 56, 112, 168, and so on. SHA-2, the secure hashing algorithm, has block sizes of 512 or 1024, and the key sizes range from 224 to 256 to 384 to 512. In this video, we discussed block and key sizes.